annual XMB Xbox The Box Awards. We go, uh, uh, number six is our Game Pass Game of the Year. There's a lot of choice for this one. This is a big one. Best game that came out on Game Pass. Mm. We could say Grounded again. We could say Vampire Survives again. Uh... <laughs> We could say Persona 5 again. <laughs> you could say Deathloop. You seem to have frozen. Are you still there? Uh, sorry, guys. We've had some technical difficulties during the awards ceremony. We haven't got anyone coming on the stage saying they, like, they want to thank Bill Clinton or anything. But, we, you know, we, we've, we've still got well, some issues. Uh, like well, it's Bill not like uh, my... My my mum didn't ring this time, so we're safe. <laughs> but the laughter decided to come in and say, like, Max are better. Windows is garbage. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it said, yeah. Uh, so I'd like to thank uh, Bill Clinton for uh, this award. <laughs> so, okay, so we were on to our Game Pass Game of the Year, which is probably the biggest award that we're going to give out this week, probably. Um, there's so much good choice for this one because Game Pass is bloody awesome, and if you haven't got Game Pass, you should get it. And if you have, if you like Xbox, and you have an Xbox, you don't have Game Pass. What are you doing with your life? I don't understand. It's an amazing, it's an amazing service. Um, so, Persona Five Royal, Death Loop, uh, Somerville, <laughs> Pentiment, Grounded. Vampire Survivors. There's so many choices for this one. I don't really know where we go with this. Power Wash Simulator. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Proteus. Uh... So many choices. Um, Plague Tale Requiem. I almost forgot that again. I forgot that in my Game of the Year discussions before. Oh, I don't know where to start. I'm really tempted and... to give it to Vampire Survivors again. I'm not even going to lie. Because that game is so much fun. <laughs> yeah. What, do you, what well, do you think? Well, I think there's plenty of choice, really, but I think the really huge ones are actually Plague Tale, and if I bring up what I've played in the past, because I think I've played a bunch of games from the previous uh, years. Yeah. But uh, Grounded is another good game that's unrated, which is also really, really good. Yeah, definitely. And... And and there's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. We, yeah, we should so like good. play more of it. Mm. I forgot about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's such a good game. Oh god, that's, that's such a good year for Game Pass. People slag Game Pass off because it was no big like exclusive AAA game. But there were so many good games on there. Tunic, that's another one. Um, yes, Tunic is a very good one actually, yeah. and it's been quickly forgotten to be honest. Shame, poor, poor Tunic. It's a good game. Um, I don't know what to nominate for this one. I like a lot of games that are on on Game Pass, and I played a lot of Game Pass this year. Um, uh, well, that's the thing because there's already like uh, a bunch of games that are on. There isn't a lot of games that comes out for like Xbox this uh, late part of the year, yeah. and it seems to give way for like Switch and uh, PlayStation games, whereas everything's delayed into like next year. So annoyingly enough. Yeah, I mean, we got the award for our, our, our what games we're looking forward to next year as well. Like, and there's a load of stuff coming out next year, but I'm, I'm just bringing up my list from the from my gamer app. So uh, let's have a look. Grounded, Vampire Survives, Deathloop, As Dust Falls, Tunic, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Shredder's Record Play Point, Metal Hellsinger, uh, Crusader Kings 3, Corvus, You Suck at Parking, Peppa Pig! <laughs> Peppa Pig should win it! <laughs> uh, Nobody Saves the World, A Memoir Blue, Ra Rainbow Six Extraction, uh, and Plague Tale Requiem. There's so many, there's like all the games I've played on Game Pass this year. They're all fantastic. Uh, oh, I just Dr. feel Brick. that. I don't have to break it so hard. Bear in mind that there's Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga that came out on Game Pass, so that 
qualifies too. Some of but I think of the. <laughs> but I think it's just uh, there's a couple of the titles which are worthy of this uh, <clears throat> award. Is there's Tunic, which I found to be a very nice and simple game, and I certainly enjoyed playing it. Yeah. It's just like the closest you ever get to Legend of Zelda. That's on. The any system now because yeah. you now get it on like PlayStation and Switch. Yeah, definitely. And and there's like a Plague Tale Requiem which comes out on PC and Xbox. Yeah. And to be honest, I think it's actually really really good. I was about to say I think that's going to be my nomination because uh, we've already we've already given Go- uh, Grounded and v- Vampire Survives awards. I think my third place would be then uh, v- uh, would be Plague Tale Requiem. I think that's going to be my nomination for this. Um, mm. Playtale Requiem is a fantastic game. It's like The Last of Us, but with actually good writing and good characters. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> <laughs> I hate The Last of Us Part 2. I love Part 1, but Part 2 was awful. Um, but yeah, I will go Playtale Requiem for this one, I think. Are you are you, mm. are you you down for that one? or do you, or do you Yes. Want... Yeah? Okay, so we're we, we in agreement for that one, are we? Yep. Okay, so definitely. the award for Game Pass Game of the Year is Plague Tale Requiem. Congratulations. Many rats were not killed in the making of that game. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the X Marks the Box podcast. Follow us at X Marks Box on Twitter or X Marks the Box on YouTube. And follow us on all audio podcast services. Thanks for listening.